Greetings, everyone. It's your friend, Miss Blueberry, and I have another special friend with me. Everybody say hi, Miss Adrian. Hi, guys. How you doing? Good. I hope you guys are having a good day. Woo. Well, before we do anything with our new special lesson, we always pray. So everybody, let's clap two times and we'll pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that you are awesome and good and peaceful in our hearts. We thank you that you always forgive us and that you teach us the word of God to stay rooted and grounded in our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, it's time to get started with praise and worship. We have two cool songs today that are so awesome. Are you ready, Miss Adrian? So we're going to have you be our praise and worship leader. And we are going to share our screen so that we can have a praise party. I love dancing. I love singing. I know you love that too, right? And then I have my friend, Miss Rose Calais. She's going to dance and sing with us. So let's make it bigger. And here we go. From my head to my shoulders, my knees to my toes, I praise the Lord every day. With my eyes and my ears, my hands and my feet, I praise the Lord every day. With my mouth out, I will praise the Lord when I'm feeling wild. I will praise the Lord with a smile on my face. I will praise the Lord. God made all of me to praise the Lord. From my head to my shoulders, my knees to my toes, I praise the Lord every day. My eyes and my ears, my hands and my feet, I praise the Lord every day. With my mouth talks, I praise the Lord when my feet walk. I will praise the Lord with a smile on my face. I will praise the Lord, God made all of me to praise the Lord. song it is one of my favorites so let's make it bigger and i'll get rose kind of laying the dance
so cool. Even Miss Lily came out to do some dancing with Rose Catalea. That was so awesome, right? Did you enjoy that, Miss Adrian? I loved it. That's one of my favorite songs. Oh my goodness, it was so awesome. So we're at the part where we talk about what we're gonna learn today, Miss Adrian. We're gonna learn all about forgiveness. Everybody say, God. God. Forgives. Forgives. Me. Me. So we walk in forgiveness and God forgives us. So we're gonna learn a lot about that today in our story. But before we get started, it's time for... It's time for the memory lane. That's right. It's time for the memory verse. And Mr. Nick's Construction Corner, so you see my hat? We're going to build our faith today. We talked about forgiveness. So let's see what Mr. Nick's Construction Corner has to say. Miss Adrian, can you read our memory verse for today when I make it bigger? Guys, today our memory verse comes from Colossians 3 and 13. The Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. That is so good to know, right, Miss Adrian? We know things can happen, but God loves us and always forgives us, right? So this is such a great memory verse. Thank you so much for reading it for us. So we have done so much work so far. We have learned what we're learning today. And our memory verse. What do you think could be next? Let's see. Hmm. It's time for the window break. That's right. It's time for the wiggle break. Are you guys ready to wiggle with me and Adrian? We're gonna wiggle with you today. Are you guys ready? All right. So let's wiggle our fingers. And then let's wiggle our shoulders. And let's wiggle our elbows. Woo -hoo. All right, we're all done with our wiggle break. How cool was that, Miss Adrian? Very cool. Awesome. So we're all done with our wiggle break. So what time do you think is next? That's right, it's story time. I'm so excited for our new story today, Miss Adrienne. Are you ready for it? I'm ready. All right, so I'm gonna share our screen and we're gonna watch our new story together today. Everybody listen closely and I'm gonna make it bigger. Stories of the Bible. The parable of the unforgiving servant. This is Jesus. Hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water oh, hey, Art. and even raised people from the dead. Uh, wahoo! One day, Jesus was talking with his disciples and teaching them when Peter asked, Um, Vera? How often should I forgive someone who sins against me? Seven times? Jesus said, No, not seven times, but seventy times seven. Then Jesus told a parable. He said, The kingdom of heaven can be compared to a king who decided to get his money back that he had let his servants borrow. While the king was doing this, one of the servants who owed him a million dollars was brought in. One million dollars, please? The servant couldn't pay, but the servant begged the king, Please be patient with me, and I will pay it all. Then his king was filled with pity for him, and he let him go and forgave his debt. When the man left the king, he went to a fellow servant who owed him a few thousand dollars. Uh, hi? Come here, yo. He grabbed him and demanded that he pay him back immediately. Oh, wait, please! His fellow servant begged for a little more time. He said, be patient with me and I will pay it. No! But the servant wouldn't wait. 
He had the man arrested and put in prison until the debt could be paid in full. When some of the other servants saw this, they were very upset. They went to the king and told him everything that had happened. Then the king called in the man he had forgiven and said, I forgave you that tremendous debt because you pleaded with me. Shouldn't you have mercy on your fellow servant just as I had mercy on you? Then the angry king sent the man to prison to be punished until he had paid all that he owed. Jesus then said, That's what my heavenly Father will do to you if you refuse to forgive your brothers and sisters from your heart. Wow, Miss Adrian, did you see that story? Yes. That was such a good life lesson. So we want to make sure that you learned and listen closely. So let's see what time it is, Miss Adrian. It's <laughs> that's right. It's question time. So Miss Adrian, let's go to our questions. I'm going to share our screen and we'll be able to see what questions we have today. Can you read them for us? Yes. All right. Question number one. Who did we learn about today? Who did we learn? I think we learned about Rose Catalea. No. no. Maybe Miss Blueberry. No, not today. We learned about Jesus and his disciples. That's right. We learned more about what they talked about together. Let's see what question number two is. Who asked him a question? Ooh. So if you were listening closely, someone asked him a question. Who asked him a question, Miss Adrian? Uh, was it his cousin? Was it his brother? No. It was Peter. He okay. asked a question and said, what should we do? Hmm, I'm not going to tell you the question. Let's see. What happened to the man at the end of the story? So we know our friend Peter asked him about forgiveness, right? And our friend in the story did not forgive, right? So what happened to him is he had to go to jail because he did not forgive. The king brought him back and he had to go to prison for not being kind. That's right. What should we do for others? We should give them high fives. No. Give them blueberry muffins? Uh, not this time. Well, we should forgive them. I think that's what our story taught us today, right? That we need to walk in forgiveness. It's so important for us to always forgive our neighbors. We know that God always forgives us and allows us to live and be happy and whole. So that's all he wanted me to do in the story. Be a forgiving person. Thank you so much, Miss Adrian. That was so awesome. So we're gonna stop sharing our screen. And I think I know, or I don't know, or I think I know what time it is. It's, it's time for the wiggle break. That's right, it's time for a wiggle break. Miss Adrian, can you tell us what we need to wiggle today? We are going to wiggle our noses. I did it. And now we're gonna wiggle our heads. Now how about we wiggle our legs too? I'm wiggling mine. You. Awesome, thank you so much, Miss Adrian. We got a cool wiggle break. And now it's time for my favorite part. The fruit of the day. So we're gonna share our screen. And we're going to learn what our fruit of the day is today. What is that fruit, Miss Adrienne? Can you read it for us? Ooh, that's a pineapple. Whoa, I love pineapples. They're so delicious. They're so yummy. What color is it? It looks like it's like a yellow and green. So let's see what pineapple means for our fruit of the day in our fruit of the spirit book. Long-suffering. 
<gasps> long suffering. And let's see what that means in scripture. Love suffers long and is kind. Wow. And what scripture is that? First Corinthians 13 and 4. Wow. So we learn about forgiveness and how we have to suffer long in patience, right? We know that God always waits for us. He always loves us. So we can always practice long suffering too, right? So let's see what we have next. What happened in our story? So we're going to go through the steps of what happened today. Miss Adrian. Can you read each step for us? And we'll look at a picture in between. So can you read step number one? Step one, Jesus was talking to his disciples. Look at Jesus. Remember in the story, he was talking to his disciples. Let's see what happens next. Step two, Peter asked him a question about forgiveness. Oh, wow. Look at Peter. He was talking to him and he asked him about forgiveness. Let's see what happened in step three. Step three, he told them a story about forgiveness of God. So look at this. This was such a good story about how this king forgave this man a huge debt and let him go for free. He didn't have to pay him anything. He just forgave him the debt, he gave him the time. Step four, the same man in the story did not forgive like the king did with him. So even though he was given forgiveness and time and he was given peace and grace, he didn't give that to the next person, did he, Miss Adrian? He didn't show kindness. He didn't show that he could forgive. Nope. And step five, he was punished because he did not show the love of God with forgiveness. That's right. He was so upset. He saw him and he said, I can't believe you didn't forgive him. And no one was happy with him not having a kind heart. So that's what we learned today in our story, to really be kind, to forgive, and to show love to people. So now it's time for <laughs> our friend of the week. It's our friend Emil. How you doing, buddy? Oh, I'm so excited that you sent in your pictures today and we get to learn all about you. And I'll tell you one special thing. If you guys remember our friend of the week last week, Miss Ruby, this is her brother. Isn't that so cool? So let's learn about him today. He can name any car, any make and model. So if he sees something and he sees a car driving, he can tell you exactly what it is. Isn't that crazy? <gasps> That's so cool. He can say the alphabet backwards. I don't even know that I can say the alphabet backwards. Can you say the alphabet backwards, Miss Adrian? <laughs> no. Super smart. You can see him in the pictures being super smart there. He can snowboard and ride a bike with no training wheels. Can you believe that? Look at him on his bike in the picture. Oh my goodness, this is so awesome. And he's going to the first grade this year. So he just graduated kindergarten. I'm so excited that you could be our friend of the week. This was so many cool things that I get to learn today. I think I'm going to try to practice to learn my ABCs backwards. What about you, Miss Adrian? I will try my best to. <laughs> and I heard you are a rock star, a huge, awesome big brother to your sister. So we thank you so much for being our friend of the week and for always being kind. So, Miss Adrian. We're all done for today. We talk about our friend of the week, our memory verse, and our awesome story. So don't forget to pray. Practice your memory verse and review your lesson. Make sure you do your coloring sheet. And again, if you need my emails with all that fun stuff attached, you can email me at tprice at linkedupchurch.com. <laughs> I would love to be able to send you fun stories and I do want to thank all of you that came to our puppet show last week because we had such a great time with our puppet show and puppet making. And we'll have more Little Link Land lives soon. <laughs> so 
We gotta stop sharing our screen, Miss Adrian, because it's time to go. We got to pretend to be in Little Link Land today and hang out with all our cool friends and practice lots of forgiveness, right? Because we love to forgive one another just like God forgave us. He loves us so much and we have to love others in the same way. So we will see you next week. We hope you loved your lesson and we're gonna wave goodbye now.